Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today I'm going to discuss the difference between a unit ventilator and a fan coil. So fan coils and unit ventilators have pretty much the same components, a motor, a blower, heating, cooling coils, but we often see unit ventilators in classrooms and schools. They're usually on the perimeter wall. So let's draw this in here against a window. The unit ventilators typically have sturdier cabinets, you know, so the kids can sit on them and put stuff on them, put books on them and stuff. And sometimes they even have built-in shelves to hold books and other classroom and other classroom stuff. So these are our windows. We're looking out at the trees. And then say this is sectioned off, and this section in the middle is a bookshelf where the kids can put their books. Unit ventilators are also designed to provide a lot of outside air through exterior wall openings. The reason for that is that ASHRAE 62.1 requires 10 CFM per person in a classroom, which is twice as much as required for an office space. So a unit ventilator looks something like this. We'll draw a side view. So the right side here will be the outside. You've got a blower up here. I guess we'll put the top of the cabinet in as well. And then you'll have a cooling coil sitting in here. So down here at the bottom is where your air enters the unit. So let's put in a damper for room air and a damper over here for outside air. So the way this would work is your room air comes in through the front of the unit, outside air comes in through the back of the unit, through the exterior wall, the air goes up through the coil, through the blower, and then the supply air comes out of the top of the unit into the space. And make a little room, so this is your unit ventilator. Now let's draw a fan coil. So this is our cabinet here. The outside would be on this right wall. We're going to give it an angled top. Fan coils often have angled tops so that people don't put stuff on top of them because their cabinets are not as sturdy as a unit ventilator. We'll draw our blower down here this time and our water coil up here somewhere. So now the room air comes into the front of the fan coil goes through the blower, through the coil, and then the supply air comes out the top. But you can see there's no outside air inlet on the fan coil. So fan coils aren't always exposed in the space, kind of like I drew it here. Sometimes they're concealed or recessed in the ceiling or in walls or closets. Um, for instance, they might be in a corner of a hotel room. Fan coils don't usually supply fresh air. They pull room air in, condition it, and supply it back to the room. So that's basically the difference between a fan coil and a unit ventilator. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.